Hi, it's Laura from Day by Day in Our World, and today I'm going to show you a glimpse inside of the Exploring Creation with Marine Biology, the second edition curriculum from Apologia. Um, I was really excited because I've met Sherry, who's the, the author of this, and marine biology is something I haven't spent a lot of time in in the sciences. So like a, all the other Apologia textbooks, you have a wonderful hardcover, they give you some support, some student notes in here, and then you get to the table of contents. So you can see you start with about the oceans, general life in the sea, the different kingdoms, the invertebrates, followed by the marine vertebrates, ecology, and the intertidal zone, estuary communities, coral reefs, continental shift, communities, I'm not even going to try to pronounce that, <laughs> zone in the deep ocean. And there's a, a lot of great quotes in here to start um, with this. And anytime you start a mod, they, instead of chapters, they call them modules. So here we've got the ocean of our planet. And you start by reading this dive in description, and then you get into the rest of it. And as you go through the modules, there's a lot of different diagrams and stuff, but there's also these on your own questions that after you've read to a certain point, you're supposed to stop, answer the questions, and this is to help you remember the material. There's categories about think about this. And then spread throughout the chapters, there's also experiments. They tell you everything you need, the procedure that you need to go through, and this gives you sort of an idea of what it's gonna look like. Okay, and then also in the test book, what you have quarterly tests that tells you which module is here. Then the solutions are all in here. They give you really detailed answers by module. Here at the back, this is the back half. This is still in the student notebook. We have the lab notebook section. And this is something as someone who's worked with high schoolers and college students on science labs, sometimes keeping notes is a really, in the, that situation seems challenging. So there's different types of lab exercises that they have in here. Some of them are household, some of them require microscope, some require dissection. Um, you know, and they recommend the household ones everybody should do. So then they break out here. If you were doing your own notes, you would be writing this information down in your notebook. But they've got it pre-written. They've got everything from the text in here again. And then you put the date that you do your experiment, hypothesis, your observations, a room to sketch and what were your discussion and conclusion questions. And it runs like that for the rest of the book. So it's really, it's something that you don't absolutely need to have, but for a lot of students, there's just such an ease of use to get the material worked through and they don't have to have multiple notebooks to go through. Finally, the last thing that we were sent is the MP3 audio book. So they're mp3 files, they're here on the drive, so you can use that on any mp3 compatible CD player or mp3 player on your computer um, for that. But they do have the way that, um, this has, that this worked when I sat and listened, when you were listening to, I was listening to module two. So module two, you really want a screen so you can see where it is because they do not give you here um, a track number to start. But they'll tell you each one, and so I'll start with Life in the Sea. It has the little dive in and the intro. Then it goes to the next track for the process of life and moves through that as well. And she did take time to read the on your own questions as you go through for this. So it's giving you all the you know all the the text within here, which is great. Whether you know you have a child that's an auditory learner that needs to have that material read to them for it to synthesize, but even for someone like me that's a very visual learner, I sometimes read so fast that it doesn't stick, and I find myself going back and rereading chapters. The pace that she did in the CD here was great. For that that I could easily follow along everything is getting comprehended if I really wanted to I you know as you're doing things you could stop and say okay I'm listening to those parts of the module 
and then you have your questions and just stop and answer the questions with the book in front of you having just paused the CD. So overall, a great program if you have a child who is interested in aspects of marine biology, I highly recommend letting them explore in high school rather than getting to college and finding it's not what they thought it was going to be or not something they want to do. And I do have one friend whose son is a little older than my oldest and they were friends in high school through our um, homeschool program. And he used the first edition of this, absolutely loved it. He's finished up his undergraduate already from marine biology and is moving on to his master's now. So he got a really good foundation with the apology and materials. Like I said in my written review, Sherry does a, Shegelson does a great job writing things out. The only things that did not come with what we were sent to review, and you might want to add them to your list, is that they have the instructional DVDs, which is all done by Sherry phenomenal because a great way, especially if you're not close enough to go and see some of these types of animals up close, she's going to take you there. They have an online audio thing and then also with the regard to the labs, they sell a dissection kit for this for some of the labs and they sell a slide set so that if you want, if your child's really into marine biology, you're going to want to get the complete for that. Thanks for watching. That was our look inside of the Exploring Creation with Marine Biology 2nd Edition materials with Laura from Day by Day in Our World. Have a great day.